Soon you were successful in imprisoning my monster again. You have my thanks, beast. As do you, Groosh. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two hadn't been here. <laughs> oh, you give me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could do to help. I did realize I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Beast, you must wonder just what it is you've been fighting out there in the great pit. As much I could tell you, but suffice to say, it is the root of the evil we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and reseal it into its prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter the bonds that confine it. Such is its awesome power. It must destroy at its source or suffer this fate again and again. There's no time to lose. Hit the gate with the sour strike. <clears throat> Come on already. Charge the sword of yours with the sacred force stuff Granny was talking about and zap the gate of time. Right on, Granny. Indeed. Now, please go. Go to the gate. And it doesn't work. I love Tetris. That is trippy. the gate has been reactivated. Mm. Hitting before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, the very place where Zelda now waits. <coughs> Go bravely, beast. If everything is as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. Mm. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, beast. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit, and Granny here keeps yapping on and on about how we never know when it might just when it might bust free again. Someone's got to stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? And you know what? Nah, forget about it. She's out to tell her I said what's up. Hey! 
So, <laughs> as I've been expecting you, beast, you are doubtless overwhelmed, so I will explain things as simply as I can. It's the Temple of Helia, thought, though it will come to be known as the Sealed Temple sometime in the future. You stand in the past ages before your own time. Here, the goddess Helia has only just sealed away the demise. A little time has passed since the goddess sent out the, cropping, the outcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. It's true to its name, you have passed the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person you risked life and blood to defend waits for you. Dave? What? You know how you how me and mommy to bet and you said You've come so far, Beast. I'm glad you made it. Huh? I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home to the distant past. In this era, who was afflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about that war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to be all too real. Next time you learn the whole story, let me try to explain. <sighs> Jesus Christ. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, demise ready to massive army of monsters for war, he sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people, she used her power to send both them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. The sweating rock became the new home of our people, in time it became known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess Helia succeeded in sealing away Demise. However, soon after the Demon King was a prisoner, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Helia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with Demon King. She knew that if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Helia devised two separate plans and set them both into motion. First, she created Fi. She made the spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose, to assist her chosen hero on his mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. She made the sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by gods, all of his power can never be willed by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers in her immortal form. Probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Beast? You are the chosen hero, and I, Zelda, am the goddess reborn as a mortal. And that's Impa. Who's Impa? The, the fat one or whatever? The day of the ceremony, Girahim's tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the sealed grounds. I had no memory at all of my existence as Helia. She explained it to me. She helped me to remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray at the goddess statues located in each temple across the land. These statues stirred up memories within me. After I visited them all, Impa, an agent of the goddess, led me here to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in this hideous state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him at any cost. That is why I intend to remain here in this time and place to sustain the seal as best as I can. As long as I continue this vigil, we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. I must maintain the seal that Helia, rather, that I, created so long ago and can't keep it strong for as long as I am able. The memories of my former life returning to me, 
I can see now that this is my purpose. Beast, the guys created Fee, the Great Blade, she's a part of for very specific reasons. To have standing against the demise of the monstrous form, he now assumes her solely on his shoulders. Back in our own time, we've already driven him back into his prison twice now. Can't thank you enough for that beast. <laughs> During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom from solving devious puzzles and traps. You gained power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. And by overcoming the trials set before you by the goddess, you've found true courage. Now that those qualities reside in you, you are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the Triforce. Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage. And for this, I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your May give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens his land. Amen. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend and that you, within you dwells sacred power. This is the mark of the Triforce. Say now, beast, draw your sword. She was the last one? Yeah, I already got the last one. It's the master sword. The guys has blessed your blade and the master sword has at last achieved its ultimate form. The sword is now imbued with the mythical power to drive back demons and only beast may wield it. It's gonna get stolen. <laughs> Because before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to vanquish the Mize once and for all. Problem is, among the countless souls in this world, only a select few, those with an unbreakable spirit, can wield its might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the old guys created the Triforce. But I have a theory of my own. The guys created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow, I think that may have been their way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of the land. Which brings us back to you. To face demise and give the land hope, the goddess Helia needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. That someone is you. The spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so that you could wield the supreme power. Oh, come on! I mean, and so I, I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger, without even a moment's doubt. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> oh, okay, so she oh, is it. it. That's, that's, I hope the mice eat you first. <laughs> Can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for putting for pulling you into all of this beast. But you have to understand, this is a war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. Oh, that may be well-intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions, but I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To ensure that the seals hold, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. Until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. <laughs> Don't do it! She used you, man! She used you! Well, it's true that I am a Helia reborn. That I am Helia reborn. I'm still my father's daughter and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. If the finally gone, there will be no more need for the seal that binds him, and then I'll be able to wake up. I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kid- SHIT! <laughs> this time, when all this is over, will you come to wake me up? I promise.
His eyes are cracking me. <laughs> yeah. What does that remind you of? Uh, hmm. For work all seasons? Yeah, then. I made her a lot skinnier. Yeah. There's her red jacket thing. Slim fast helps. <laughs> <laughs>